Hi everyone, I am Dr. S. Lona Yunus, Assistant Professor in the Department of Chemistry, Kamaraj College of Engineering and Technology, Viridhanagar. In this video, I would like to explore the derivation of Nernst equation. So, Nernst equation is very vital to find out whether a reaction undergoes uh, oxidation or reduction and moreover this is also very very important in battery technologies and in corrosion control. So, it has various practical applications. Nernst equation relates electrode potential with standard electrode potential and concentration of the solution. So, to start with let us consider a redox reaction. So, consider a redox reaction. So, redox reaction is one in which both oxidation and reduction occurs simultaneously. So, as we all know oxidation is loss of electrons and reduction is gain of electrons. So, I am going to write a redox reaction m n plus plus n number of electrons gives m. Okay. Now, according to Van't Hoff isotherm, so according to Van't Hoff isotherm, so from the thermodynamic equation according to Van't Hoff, delta G that is the standard free energy change delta G is equal to minus R T ln K plus R T ln concentration of products divided by concentration of reactants. So, this Van't Hoff isotherm relates the free energy change delta G with the equilibrium constant K. So, this is assumed as equation number 1. Now, this minus R T ln K is nothing but standard free energy change that is delta G naught. Since delta G naught is equal to minus R T ln K, we can substitute this delta G naught in equation 1. So, substituting for delta G naught in equation 1. So, when we substitute we get delta G is equal to delta G naught. So, instead of minus R T ln K I have substituted delta G naught plus R T ln products divided by reactants. Now, in the redox reaction we have written m n plus plus n electrons will give n. So, on the product side you can write m concentration of m divided by m n plus. So, this is assumed as equation number 2 and one more thing is the decrease in standard free energy change. So, this is the basic one the decrease in standard free energy change minus delta G is equal to N F E and decrease in standard free energy change is given by N F E naught where delta G. So, you have to represent what this delta G is what is delta G naught. So, delta G naught is free energy change. So, delta G represents the free energy change. Delta G naught represents the standard free energy change. Standard free energy change and in the N represents the number of electrons. N is nothing but the number of electrons involved in the redox reaction. F is nothing but the Faraday's constant. Faraday's constant and E and E naught. So, E represents the standard electrode potential. E is the electrode potential and E naught represents the standard electrode potential. So, 
now we have delta g and delta g naught. So, substituting for delta g and delta g naught in equation 2. So, next step is substituting for delta g and delta g naught in equation 2. Now, this equation can be written as instead of delta g we can substitute minus n f e. So, this becomes minus n f e which is equal to minus n f e naught plus r t ln m divided by m n plus. Okay. So, this is considered as equation number 3. So, this is equation number 3. Now, we can simplify this equation. So, when you look at this equation, this minus n f is common in these two. Now, we are going to divide throughout by minus n f. Okay. So, in order to simplify this, we are just going to divide it by minus n f. So, equation 3 is being divided with minus n f. So, this will become minus n f e divided by minus n f. So, we get e. So, e is equal to this one will become e naught plus. So, that is a plus since we are going to divide it with minus n f it becomes minus r t divided by n f ln m divided by m n plus. So, this is assumed as equation number 4. Okay, so, E is equal to E naught minus R T by N F ln M divided by M N plus. Okay, now, what we are going to do in the next step is concentration of metal or activity of a metal will always be 1. So, instead of M we can make this as 1. So, in the next step So, E equation number 4 can be written as E is equal to E naught minus N F divided sorry E naught minus R T divided by N F ln 1 divided by M N plus. So, this is equation number 5. So, this can be further simplified. Now, when we bring this m n plus concentration of m n plus to the numerator, this minus sign will become plus. So, equation 5 can be now written as E is equal to E naught plus R t divided by n f ln m n plus. So, this is equation number 6. Now, in this equation 6 R which is ideal gas constant T is the temperature which is 273 Kelvin plus 25 which is 298 Kelvin F is Faraday's constant. Now, when we substitute for all these standard values. So, for example, R universal gas constant is 8.314 joule per Kelvin per mole. Then temperature T is equal to 25 degree C which is equal to 273 plus 25 which is 298 Kelvin and F Faraday's constant F is equal to 96,500 Coulomb. And one more thing this is natural log. Now, this ln is to be converted to log. So, when ln is being changed to log what we have to do is it has to be multiplied by 2.303. So, all these have numerical values r, t, f, ln. Now, when we simplify all these numerical values we get 0 0.0591. So, altogether it becomes 0 0.0591 divided by this n. Rest you can write it as such. So, e is equal to E naught plus 0 0.0591 divided by n ln is being converted to log log concentration of m n plus. This is equation number 7. So, this equation 7 is the electrode potential for reduction. 
So, we can write it as E is equal to E naught reduced plus 0 0.0591 divided by n log concentration of m n plus. So, equation 7 is for reduction potential. Okay, now, using this we can just write the oxidation potential. So, oxidation potential can be written as the same equation only the difference is sign will be different will change that is E is equal to E naught oxidized. So, instead of plus for reduction it will be plus for oxidation it will become minus since we are considering the reverse reaction minus 0 0.0591 divided by n log concentration of m n plus. So, this is the final equation equation number 8. So, this equation number 8 is for oxidation potential. So, once the E naught value is known a number of electrons involved in a reaction as well as the concentration of the electrolyte is known we can easily find out the electrode potential. So, this plays an important role in the calculation of electrode potential of various metals. So, this is uh, used to in battery technologies as well as in corrosion control techniques. So, com coming to the applications. So, applications you can consider the corrosion tendency. So, based on the E naught value we can find out the corrosion tendency of various metals. So, metals which have uh, higher lower value based on that we can decide whether it will corrode or not. Similarly, we can also find the electrode potential for various metals. So, from this we can easily calculate the EMF of the cell. Okay. So, these are few applications of Nernst equation. Thank you.